Hello class. Today you guys are going to be working on completing number 33, Guided Practice Worksheets. Remember, before you begin 23, you must have completed number 31 and number 32. Now, when you create your worksheet, all you're really going to be doing is taking the questions that you are doing for number 4, number 5, and number 6 of your lesson plans, and you're going to put all five of those questions into a worksheet. Using Google, find ideas for your worksheet by researching the types of worksheets you can use to assess the topic you are teaching. With your group, you are going to create your own worksheet that will help students practice what they have learned and by doing that, you need to go ahead and go to your Google Drive. Once your Google Drive has loaded, you will go to the top left corner of your screen to where it says New. Go ahead and click on New and go down to where it says Google Docs. You guys are going to be creating your worksheet on a Google Doc. As soon as the doc has loaded, please make sure you go up to the top left corner and you title this assignment number 33, Guided Practice Worksheet. Before you move on, go ahead and click the share button over on the top right corner. Go ahead and change the link by clicking on get shareable link and make sure that it says anyone at muhsd.k12.us can view. Once you have done that, go ahead and send this worksheet to the rest of your group members by typing in their email address right here. Once you have typed in their email addresses, then you can go ahead and click send. Now, once you have done that, please make sure to copy the link of this document and go embed it into your education, child development, and family services hyperdoc. Now, your worksheet must have the following. The first thing it needs to have is a place on the top right corner of the document where students can put their names. Just as you've seen me do here, make sure that the name area is on the top right corner. You need to make sure you also have a title. That is going to be one thing one worth one point as well. Next, I want you to go ahead and make sure that you have the five questions from your lesson plan, sections four, five, and six. You're going to add them to the worksheet. This part is going to be worth four points, so you must make sure you have a minimum of those five questions. Remember, most of the time for this age group, you will have to have some sort of image. So you guys would have to have the question followed by an image of some sort right above it. So right here, we would put an image, for example. And then you would ask your question. Then right before the next, 
question, you would also place another image. Now, if you take a look at the instruction sheet, there is an example right here of three questions for a worksheet that assesses counting up to 10 and also has images. Now, once you complete your worksheet, you can go ahead and start on number 34. Please remember to link all your assignments to the HyperDoc. That includes number 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. I will see you on Monday the 30th when I get back. Please email me if you have any questions. This entire HyperDoc is due on Friday at 11.59.